Okay, yes, we are live. The topic today is if you lead, you lose, and so does he. Actually, I should say, ladies, if you lead, you will lose, and so will he. Welcome to my daily broadcast. <laughs> I'm experimenting with putting my title before my episode title before my overarching information. So that's the title. Get to that in a second. Introduce myself and this thematic of topics, and then we'll jump in. My name is Barry Silby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And I do this every day, and this is number 406. So, got a few at the end of my belt. And today's topic, as I mentioned at the beginning, is ladies, if you lead, you lose, and so does he. And I'm going to explain what that means with some caveats too, because I'm realizing as I said that as a blatant statement, it's not a catch-all and it's not a global statement. So I need to give you some clarity and some escape clauses, so to speak. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for being with me. If you have any questions or comments along the way, feel free to put them in the comments. Of course, if you're watching live on Facebook, you can do that. If you're watching the replay on Facebook or on YouTube, you'll be able to just add comments and I'll respond later. And if you're listening to this on my podcast later on, you can just listen. Sorry, there's no way of commenting on podcasts, at least not that way. So um, I guess I'll let you know at the end what those are and how you can get in touch with me as well. So let's dive into the topic, shall we? So first of all, what do I mean <laughs> by if you lead? Let me qualify that first. Um, I've had a few relationships where that happened. So I'm speaking from an extremely personal experience that at the time I was enjoying and loved them every part of it. And in hindsight, I realized that I was off track and so was she. So I'm speaking to this from an experience, from a practical point of view, from an experiential point of view, and from a 2020 hindsight point of view. So hopefully with that blend of um, perspectives, you'll get value from this without having to do it yourself. And of course, if you are doing this, ladies, this will help you change, I hope. So first of all, what I mean by leading is that when you ladies are, let, let me speak uh, and, and say this. When you are in your masculine, which is what I'm going to explain more that is in a second too, you're in a leadership role because the masculine is an energetic, is a leader. Sorry, I'm about to tickling nose. I want to wipe it. So excuse me one second. Must I uh, stop itching myself? Excuse me a second. Doing that on camera seems so weird, but you know, don't want to stop the broadcast just for that. So, in the elevated conversation of relationships and of male and female connection, I talk about the masculine and the feminine, particularly the awakened masculine and the divine feminine. In a conscious relationship, or as another way of putting it, a conscious relationship, and for most people watching my broadcast, that's kind of what your intention is and what you already have, hopefully. The idea of the masculine and feminine makes sense. The masculine energy in, in the male form especially, because there is masculine and feminine, there's also in women, there's also the feminine and mas in the men. Masculine energy in a man is leadership focused, goal oriented, achieve the goal and then relax. The feminine energy in women, again, majority wise in women, because also in men too, generally is more about collaboration and cooperation, bringing together um, and enjoying the moment. And it's different energetics, and we are that yin and yang in the dance of relationship, the yin and yang, the way of life, and it's a polarity we both we carry both inside. So each of us carry both masculine and feminine. But as I said before on the broadcast, we have a tendency towards one end of the spectrum. So some of us may be more masculine, some of us more ma more feminine naturally. In my previous dating life, I would spend more time without realizing it in my feminine aspect more than my masculine, and I would choose women because of the polarity opposition where they'll be more in their masculine and they would lead because the masculine is a leading energy and you're going to get you're pretty getting clues where I'm going with this so you can jump in if you want but I'll, but I'll catch up with you in a second so these women who are in the masculine in fact were the ones that led the relationship one of them in particular actually asked me out and started the whole thing in the process and ended it as well she was the one that ran the whole show and I didn't mind because I was in a place of just being with the flow I wasn't attempting to do things and one of the reasons why I talk about how you will lose and also he will lose, is that in the dance of relationship, the masculine energy is the one that is ideally leading the relationship. 
not controlling it and not um, removing ability for you to lead, but as the general leader of the relationship. That's the masculine energy. Depending who's wearing that energy at the time, because again, women and men both carry the energy inside of us, and, I, and I'm also reframing this as I'm going through it. So there are times when a woman can lead the relationship in her masculine, and it's totally fine. The majority of the time, and again, I'm speaking as a generalization because we're all different and there's different flavors and variations. The man who's in his masculine is the one that leads the energetic of the relationship, whereas the energetic that leads the relationship. So when you two are together, talking about heterosexual relationships, because it does apply to gay relationships too, because masculine and feminine is the polarity of relationship, independent of gender and genitalia for that matter, just so you know. I've talked about that one before. So when men and women are in a relationship, romantically speaking, the masculine energy that's usually in the man is leading the relationship forward. The feminine is the one that is the is the one that enjoys the ride, and is in the joy of enjoying the moment, experiencing, exploring, and creating unity in the relationship. When the roles are reversed, what happens, generally speaking, is if the woman's in a masculine leading the relationship, again, occasionally it's fine. But if she's doing it all the time because she's so embedded in her masculine, which is part of the work I do with my clients, because I experienced this in my past relationships where women were um, living in their masculine and it wasn't their natural state, but they've been trained that way. That's a whole, that little piece right there is like a whole two hour topic right there, but I'm not expanding it right now unless I need to, so we'll see if it comes up. When they were in the masculine all the time, they would lead. And the challenge for me at the time wasn't a challenge, it was actually too easy. Is I got lazy. And this is this is the thing that happens with men quite often is because we men will effort and go for goals when there's an end in sight. But it's not something we would do if there's no end in sight. And the thing about relationship is I'm sorry, I'm just getting an awareness of how to explain this in a different way, because I've not seen this before. I've said before how we as men are goal oriented. So we go for a goal and we rest, then we go for another goal and we rest, we go for another goal and we rest. When it comes to relationships, we, generally speaking, need the same thing. So when we go out with you, there are certain milestones, and I'm gonna put it that bluntly, the first kiss, the first sleep, you know, sleeping together, the first whatever that is. Getting to relationship is a, is, a, is a sequence of goals that we men accomplish as part of our modality, how we work. So once we're in relationship, Unless we have another goal in sight, we have this um, tendency tendency to be somewhat, um, well I used the term lazy earlier, but I don't know if it's necessarily lazy, but it's the, we have this amorphousness, amorphousness, I think it's the right word, an, an amorphous way of being, I try to say it that way, because what happens is we don't, as men, have a goal in that relationship. Now, Ladies, sometimes you have a goal where you want to say, okay, ring on the finger and engagement and everything else. Generally speaking, men don't lead that way. You lead that, which is not unusual. It's kind of the way relationships tend to go a lot of times because a lot of women in, experience, in my experience have had the time where they're going, honey, when are you going to put the ring on the finger? Because then the men aren't doing it. Because part of it is we get lazy. We get comfortable in a situation where in the relationship now, it's like, okay, I've arrived. I put my feet up. And some men do this more overtly than others, but generally speaking, we all carry that energy inside. We may be driven in our business or our purpose, but our relationship can be somewhat of a coasting experience. So it's important for us as men to keep setting up maybe mini goals in that relationship each day to say to our partner, we love you 10 times or some other easily achievable, but milestone markable goals that we can achieve every day. That will keep us men fully engaged in the relationship, by the way. And also when we do things that we lead that relationship. Now, okay, three other things just showed up. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> this is always fun when I do these talks because they're never scripted and sometimes things download and come in that I didn't plan on doing. So I'll give you that piece. So ladies, it's important in relationship that yes, as I said before, on occasion you can lead. However, the more you can have your man lead, the better off he's, it is because he stays his masculine, which creates your sexual chemistry and polarity. And the more you can be in your feminine, which is, again, creates that, that not so much balance, but that um, opposition of energies, which is what you want to create chemistry. That, that's another topic, by the way, it talks about in my book. There's a piece that dropped in, which is this. I 
gotta be careful I say this because I'm feeling as I'm saying this I'm gonna out some people <laughs> you know they say the statement about how the power behind the man is, or if you look behind a powerful man sorry if you look behind a successful man you see a powerful woman or something like that same thing is true in relationships we as men do really well in a relationship when we have an incredible woman who's actually guiding our choices yes I'm saying this out loud we lead the relationship and a lot of times we're actually leading with a um, a framework put in place by our partner this is an interesting piece I'm playing with here so let me I'm, I'm, I'm teasing this out because I saw this piece I want to make sure it makes sense we as men in our power and authority lead relationships really well ladies you don't go along blindly just going yeah whatever you want honey that's not the way it works especially in, in as I mentioned at the beginning an elevated or an awakened or a conscious relationship you also need to make sure you are clear with your partner what it is that you're intending and wanting that relationship so he knows the framework we're playing in and that's part of that's actually part of the healthy conversation is having this um, interplay and understanding between the two partners so the way the man leads is where you also want to go there may be times he leads you to places you're very surprised about but the same understanding is in there which is his leadership that the man brings allows you to relax because you can trust him where he's leading you to and this is a key point it's easier to let your man lead when you can trust his choices and if you can't trust his choices he may need some education from you about what choices you like because for us men just to be clear I'm going to be totally selfish about this it's great when my when my partner tells me these things so that I know what framework we're playing in. For example, um, going out and trying restaurants. If one of the partners, like for example, if la ladies, you happen to have a penchant, or is that the right word? Yes, a French word. A, a preference, for that way, for Italian food. Or in fact, you can't do Italian food because you don't do pasta, so you want something where it's, it's gluten-free. If your man doesn't know this, and makes choices of restaurants where gluten is kind of a primary thing on the menu, such as Italian restaurants, or even Asian restaurants where they have noodles and other gluten type things. It doesn't help you much. So it doesn't hurt you by any means to let your man know that these are your frames of these are your preferences in your going for restaurants. Maybe you have a thing about you want to go to restaurants where it's all locally sourced food. But if he doesn't know that, he meant to make choices that align with what you want. So it's kind of important that you give your man some parameters that you can work with easily. Now some men don't like this, they think they can run it, no problem. But just speaking from experience, and with other friends of mine, I've learned this lesson many times over, so I'm just giving you my, my learned advice, <laughs> is for us men, it's great when we have a range of choices that we can play within. So a range of, this is good, this is good, outside of that doesn't work, inside that works really well. Then those areas we play in, we can explore together. So, you know, planning, planning a weekend apart, pl planning a weekend away, when you hate camping, wouldn't do you good unless it's a five-star a five-star hotel or a three-star hotel. He knows he's planning a weekend away, not to think about packing a tent. You know, it's that sort of thing that makes a lot of sense, and that's what I'm saying about leading, but not leading. And ladies, just so you know, I get you. <laughs> you do lead the relationship, but not from the front. You lead from supporting. You lead from guidance. You lead from from framing how we work together, and that's probably the biggest truth. And also, for some people, a surprise secret that I'm revealing, which actually cracks me up now, I'm going, I didn't know this back then, 10, 12, 14 years ago. Now it's very obvious to me. So I'm saying it here as a reminder, a teaching, and an informative insight that will give you some keys to up-level the quality of a relationship and to up-level the quality of partnership you have with your partner right now. I think that was it. There was a couple of things that dropped in, but they're not, not sticking around. So I hope this helps. So again, ladies, leading doesn't help you, doesn't help him. Guiding from the, from from in the relationship does. Helps you win and him win. So try it out, test it out, let me know how it goes. This is a perspective I have, and I'm not saying it's the right way for everybody, but I want to make sure that I did share this for those of you who go, oh, this will help me. So if it doesn't work for you, that's fine. Let me know that too. If it does work for you, let me know as well. I'd love to hear in the comments. So with that, um, I think that covers it.
so some, in, some information for you to find where you can find to tell you where you can find me. Again, if you watch this live on Facebook Live, you can catch me here. I am actually doing this on my personal page on Facebook, but I'm probably going to switch to my business page shortly. I've got some things I'm sorting out which I'll be changing around. Also, the replays of these will also be on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, as well as on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And now there's something to show up on my, my iTunes podcast, which is called Messages from the Masculine, and you can listen to all of these broadcasts when you're driving around or doing other things where you can't watch a screen, and you just want to hear my talks in your ear, this will be a way of doing it in uh, convenient fashion. If there's some area you're trying to work on and you're not sure how to get relationships sorted out for yourself or if you're challenged with actually attracting a healthy relationship, do yourself a favor. Go to my website, which is barryselby.com, where you can find all my content, my books, Actually, yes, as of next month, it'll be books, plural. Second book's coming out in about a month. Um, sorry, I went off on a tangent there. I'm, I'm, I, I, saw a picture, I saw a picture of the cover. It's a really beautiful book, so I'm looking forward to seeing that in a month. <clears throat> as well as my book, there's my coaching, my online programs, and on the left-hand side of the menu is a little tab that says, Let's Chat. Sign up there by clicking on it. That'll give you a 30-minute conversation with me after you fill out an application form. A little chance to get on my calendar. We can sit and talk and have a conversation that will help you get clarity in where you want to go and if my support would help you get there faster. That's simple. These broadcasts are brought to you by me. <laughs> They're not sponsored by anybody at this point, although who knows, I might get sponsorship soon. They're designed to help you have more, more love, more joy in my life in your relationships. Help you for a single or in a relationship if you're just broken up or if you're actually now engaging in new love. These are designed to help you get more of what you want in love, life, and business. With that, thank you for watching as always. I will see you again tomorrow for number 407. And uh, we'll see what that brings. So if you're just joining me, please watch from the beginning. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Sorry, Karen. I just am signing off. So watch the replay. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.